although at different speeds. Uh, the good news is that it's only... Uh, In a way, fiscal austerity is a bit like a medicine. It should be taken in the right amount. Uh, if you do not take enough, uh, you remain sick. Uh, if you take too much, uh, its uh, side effects can be very severe. So our message here has not changed. Take the right amount of medicine. In general, a gradual pace of fiscal adjustment is preferable within a credible medium-term adjustment plan for countries that are not subject to market pressures. How do you phase out energy subsidies uh, without causing a hike in prices of commodities? That is indeed what makes a difference to reform uh, energy subsidies in many countries, the fact that there are interest groups. Uh, what I think is critical is uh, to remove subsidies because uh, they do not benefit, uh, uh, they benefit the rich more than the poor. On uh, nominal deficit targets, uh, this is in a way the best way uh, to do it. There are other ways to compensate the poor, but one way to do it is through cash uh, transfer. So get they, they are compensated by the increase uh, uh, in, in prices. Of course, when you remove subsidies, there will be an increase in prices, but it is important that those who cannot afford those prices get a compensation. And, and highlight the US with a 1.8% secretary adjusted primary balance. There are two issues in the United States. Uh, first uh, is the magnitude of the adjustment, which is uh, close to 2%. Actually, in headline terms, is about 2 percentage points of, uh, of GDP. And that is large, the largest adjustment in the last uh, 30 years. Uh, and part of this is due to the sequester. Uh, the other issue relates to uh, the tools to achieve uh, this fiscal adjustment. The sequester is a very, uh, very simple tool in a way. Uh, it cuts spending across the board. It does not distinguish between good spending and, uh, and, um, and bad spending. All for being here and for watching us online. Thank you.